Hi, my name is Dr. Fox and I'm a licensed psychologist in the state of Texas. And in this video, I'm going to talk about what makes love so difficult or so hard. And this is something that all of us deal with. Whether you have been to school for 12 years, 14 years, or you've had different experiences in different parts of the world or different people or different beliefs or different values or whatever it may be. Love is hard. And that isn't a negative thing because anything worthwhile is going to be challenging. I think that what happens is, is that a lot of times we believe that love should be easy. We believe that love should be a movie, right? That it should be two hours, right? That you meet, then everything's great, then you kind of struggle a little bit, and then you realize, oh my God, we really love each other. And then it works out, and then magically everything falls into place. The reality is, and I'm not a downer on love, I'm a big fan of it, um, but we have to realize that, that, that it's work and that it takes time and it takes attention and it takes a lot of factors. And I'm going to talk about things that make love worth working through. And I think many of us deal with this sense of loneliness or this questioning sense of, are we worthy of love, first of all? And then, how do we find love? How, how do we know? Well, I can't answer that specifically for you, but maybe I can give you some ideas or some sniffers to help you figure it out. So let's get into it. So first, what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about respect. And respect is a big factor of love. And also, this isn't just romantic relationships. This is about love relationships with kids, too, with family members, with parents, with whomever is so close to you that, that you hold them emotionally inside. And that's that value of love. And when we talk about respect, it's about respecting that person's beliefs and values, but also respecting their mistakes that they make. Everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes people make the same mistake over and over and over. I'm not even done yet. And over again. And that's not uncommon. Everybody does that. We hope to learn from those things. And I think when we're partners or we're parents or we see people that are making the same mistakes or not doing certain things, we get frustrated and then we internalize it. And when we internalize it, we take it as an issue of respect. And I think that it becomes an issue of a lack of respect or disrespect because if you respected me and if you loved me, you would do, I got to kind of challenge you on that. I think that it's not a matter of accepting that people aren't doing what they're supposed to do. I think what it is, if we're talking about love and appreciation of someone else and the respect that goes with love, it's about having that connection, that conversation with that person and respecting them and saying, you know, I understand that, that this is difficult for you or I understand that you keep having these problems or issues or that there are certain factors, you know, that aren't working out or that you want to ask them to perhaps do something differently for you. That's extending your respect to them. And it's best to do that not when they're in the middle of the mistake, not when everything is on fire and you're really frustrated and you're angry with them and all that other stuff. That's not the time to do it. The time to do it is you want to strike when the iron's cold, which is when everything's kind of calm, when you're just kind of chilling and you're just kind of hanging out. That's when you can say, you know, Let's talk about some stuff that we each wish we would do differently. You can do this with your partners, and you can do it with your kids, and you can do it with your parents. Don't strike when the iron is hot because everything is heated. Everything is going, and you're going to end up in an argument. Now, the other one is patience. Love and patience go hand in hand. Absolutely. We got to be patient with the people that we love and care for. And sometimes that's really difficult because a lot of times the people that we love and that we're closest to we have really high expectations and we tend to interpret, sometimes misinterpret the things that they do or the things that they say. And I think we got to remember to be patient and love is patience so many times. And, you know, it's interesting across all relationships. This is one of those factors across all relationships is that we believe that we work harder than our partners, than others and our kids, our parents. Are, we believe that if we take out the trash, it's harder the time we take out the trash because maybe there was more bottles in it or cans in it or it was heavier or it was raining or who knows what. But we believe that it's harder than when they do it. 
And it's interesting because we may not actually look at it that way, but if you look at the research, the research supports that. And this is over 50 years of research that shows that, that the individual always perceives what they do to be more difficult and more challenging than what others do. And it's, it's understandable if we look at it from an evolutionary perspective, but also if we're talking about it from a love perspective and a patient's perspective, let's remember that, that we tend to see what we do as harder and more intense than what others do, partners, kids, whomever. So I think we need to exercise a little more patience and a little more understanding of what other folks are doing and make sure that you're showing your appreciation on a regular basis. I appreciate you doing that. Maybe they go and pick up something from the store for you. Tell them you appreciate it. If they're struggling and having a bad day, tell them you understand what they're going through or you hear what they're going through. And then when they're saying stuff, don't fix it. We live in such a fix it world. Everything's got to be fixed right away because then it's got to be perfect. And when it's perfect, then we can all relax. Never going to be perfect. We're always going to be stuff to fix. And that's okay. We get through every day and we do what we need to do because we got to have patience with ourselves too. We got to love ourselves too. Another question I think about love that's important to consider is asking yourself, and this is, is, again, for kids, partners, or whomever, is will they be there? Will they want to be there? Will they try to be there? Will they extend the energy to be there? And when I say be there, that's not when everything's going great. Everybody's around when everything's going great. But when things go south, are they there? And this isn't about your partner. This isn't about your kid. Do you believe that they will be there? Now, whether your belief is right or wrong, it doesn't matter. It's if you believe that. And that can be a tough one to stop and think about. It can be really frightening. Is that when things go south, and if you got really, really sick, is this other person, could be parent, could be child, could be significant other, will they be there for you? Will they help you? Will they encounter discomfort and inconvenience in order to help you. I think that's a component of love too. It's about being there for that person as well. I think that these factors really kind of broaden out some of the factors and issues that a lot of us deal with when we talk about love and we talk about relationships, whether again, whether it's significant others, parents, children, whomever, and we look at that. And it's so important to look at that. Look at the people you love and then look at the value of it and the components of respect, patience, and do you believe that they'll be there? What are your beliefs about the person you love and, the, and your beliefs about love and what are the things that are so important about love and having people that we love in our life? That's the critical stuff. It's figuring those things out. And love is work because if it wasn't work, it'd be easy and everybody would be doing it. And there are not a lot of people that are in love and that genuinely, I think, embrace and accept the people in their life for who they are, failures and all. We want that, but I think we got to put it out there first. Love is not about giving to get, it's giving to give. And that's sometimes the hardest thing. So please check out my channel. I'd love for you to describe. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave comments, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, and bye-bye.